Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more it's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Octachrome to control drums and also some synths inside AUM as an AUV3 app. Okay, before we continue, I'd like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so we are inside AUM. Let's create a MIDI channel and then a two audio channel. So on the first MIDI channel, let's uh, search for Octachrome. There it is. Then let's load uh, as an audio source on the second channel, SDSX. And then on the third one, why not? Let's use Mega Lit from Bliss, a fantastic synth. So let's configure the connection between uh, um, the um, MIDI processor and the audio sources. So we go for Megalit and we connect it to uh, Octochrome, but we make sure that it listens only on the second channel. And uh, I will, you will see that in a moment why is I'm doing that. Then on SDSX, we do the same connection to Octochrome but we ensure that it will listen only on channel number one, MIDI channel number one. So let's um, open Octachrome. Now, first of all, if you don't know what num uh, note numbers to use, I suggest you go to here to the menu, and then you say generate scale. You choose the bass octave, where to start from, the bass note, and also the scale, major, minor. I choose minor and click generate. As you can see, it has generated a scale, um, using the minor scale and if you start at the bottom here click and hold and on the menu scroll down to the bottom it will say note 36 channel 1 if you test it you don't hear anything because it's going to the drum if you go to the second channel you will hear that megalit that uh, is producing sound so let's go inside megalit and um, let's choose um, the all category base and let's go for something yeah let's try that one that uh, analog base which sounds really really nice okay so this note here so let's test it again it's a little bit too low so if you go by semitone and you add 12 so it will become 48 like so test that's okay, or you can start from actually 60. So let's start from 60, so we know that, that what we want is 60. So we go back to the menu here, we load the custom mapping, we choose uh, SDX, SDSX. Okay, now let's create some drum first. Let's start with the kick, the snare, some clothes, hat, hi-hat, um, like so, let's play. Nice. Now let's start to add something for the synth. So I click here on a row which is not used. And then I scroll down to the bottom and I change that to bass. Like so, I change the channel to two. And we start from 60, test. Right, so we scroll up to the top. Now there are couple of things I can do. For example, I can choose to trigger some notes and I click play and it will do that as it's playing. Which is nice. Or I can use the density and the randomness and I'll generate a pattern, which then I decide to use or not. And of course I can click apply again, change the density and the randomness and create a different rhythm. Now let's add another audio source and let's duplicate this uh, Bliss Megalit. Okay, we change now connection to Ocatrum, but we ensure that the channel, uh, the MIDI channel used is channel three. So let's go inside and let's choose something like, um, um, uh, let's go to key, keys and, um, sounds really nice so let's go back to octachrome let's choose uh, another row for another instrument channel number three perfect let's change um, 
uh, the name, flower keys, the note, um, 60, we go to 63 for an E flat, um, which sounds nice on a minor scale. Okay, now let's um, move up and um, let's generate some steps. Maybe we increase the density and let's try. And of course that is one example. Let's mute now the other rows which we're not using. Let's go to another pattern and let's click and hold and let's use this mark to randomize. And now let's play. As you can see, I can use the smart randomize function to generate uh, additional rhythm. And then, of course, I can go further down to each road and each instrument and further change using the density and randomness. And, of course, um, in this case, I have not used all the different rows. So I still have three, these two here and the third one down here, which I can further connect to drums or additional instrument as you like. So as you can see, it's very straightforward to use Octachrome as a MIDI sequencer, not only for drums, but also for synth. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found it useful. And as always, see you next time. Bye.